We love her. Would you please put your hands together for Jack River? <laughs> Woman, you've got a lot going on at the moment. You've got a new single, you've got an upcoming album. Are you excited to release all this new music into the world? So excited, yeah. It's been a wild few years for everyone in music, so it's nice to have that rush of, you know, newness in your life and your world, so I'm so keen. Uh, I want to talk about Endless Summer. Obviously, you talk a lot, you sing a lot about what's going on culturally, politically at the time, and I know that you're, you're from the South Coast, you I think near Molly Mook, yes. uh, without giving your address away. Uh, <laughs> but you're, Me too. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> but you were in the thick of the bushfires a few years ago. How much did that sort of shape everything that you've, you've turned up? Well, I guess it's strange. With this album, I really, I set out to write a protest album but so much stuff kept happening that I think I just needed to escape and this album actually ended up being quite a bit of an escapist like dreamy hazy beach boysy thing running away from it all so yeah so this is not going to change the world no it's not going to change the world I'm sorry if you think really deeply about it maybe it'll change the world but <laughs> yeah but I feel like we all need an escape but let's talk about um the album because you've got so many special guests and collabs on it DMAs Genesis Wusu's on there um is there anyone left who you still want to collaborate with left in the world because it feels like you would have ticked a few boxes on this I did tick a few boxes it's a bit of a yeah boys club on there as well <laughs> but yeah, I, I guess, I don't know, someone like Joni Mitchell or Brian Wilson, I'm quite oh obsessed, goodness. like we all are, with that era where they were able to craft these incredible other worlds with their music. And, yeah, Brian Wilson seems like a legend. Yeah, yeah huge fan of uh, the Beach Boys. Well, <laughs> I'm trying to remember who the Beach Boys are. Yeah, it's the Beach Boys, yeah. Yeah. Okay. not the Beach Wiggles. Boys, yeah. um, music's not the only thing you've been producing over the past few months. You've uh, just welcomed a new baby I to have. the world. She's Maggie. 11 weeks old. Oh, my God. Fresh. Speaking weeks now, as you, you do, yeah. too. Yeah. 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 What's yeah. the most surprising thing you've learned about motherhood? I guess um, the liquid everywhere is probably... <laughs> Wait, hang on, sorry, does that come from her or from you? No, I think I'm quite surprised about the, the liquid from the top half of my body <laughs> yeah. everywhere all the time, but yeah. also just how much I love it. I was quite a workaholic beforehand and it's been nice after COVID and a few insane years in our industry to just have a complete break and go back to basics and, yeah, yeah. back to... Pooing, weeing, <laughs> swimming, <laughs> bathing. The baby bubble. Yeah, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Yeah, because, I, I mean, I had a baby recently as well and, yes, like, I was watching Rihanna do the Super Bowl and she's obviously pregnant and, like, moving around the stage and I was like... That seems very tiring. Mm -hmm. But you you actually did that before, and I think you were, like, 35 weeks pregnant. I was. On the stage. Yeah, I went right up to the fly, the no-fly zone situation. But I was watching Rihanna thinking, pretty sure I moved, like, a little more than her. She was taking <laughs> 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 women as you're allowed to do these yeah, yeah. yeah. Great move, love yes, that. Love really that. politically correct. Um, but no, it was it was fun. I don't think I knew what I was getting myself into touring at 30, 35 weeks pregnant, but um, we did it. We got there and we're out the other side. Yeah, yeah. I couldn't even do up my shoes at 35 weeks pregnant. I literally had to tape them to my ankles because I was so swollen. Did you have any of that kind of issue? I did. The, the feet were quite swollen. Yeah. <laughs> and just the body, like, looking back at photos, it, it just kind of goes... At, at a certain <laughs> it's incredible and what so it we do. had to make like um, custom sparkly jumpsuits, which is my favourite part of pregnancy, making yeah sparkly maternity clothes. <laughs> um, aside from the pregnancy, for you, your 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 music is a lot about protest. I know you've been very involved in the climate movement, um, but you're also involved with the Yes campaign for the voice to Parliament as well, wanting to raise awareness uh, about that and try and get young people to actually vote yes. Um, why did you decide to take that on as a cause and what does it mean to get young people to vote yes for The Voice? It's huge, yeah. I decided, I guess, I was studying law and did First People's Law and realised what this would be and I began having conversations with elders in, in our community on UN Country and realised, I guess, the weight and opportunity of this year. It's one of the biggest moments in our country's history and it would, I would feel stupid not to put my hand up and, and be there to have hard and interesting conversations. And I, I just think our generation is really up for the conversation, whether you're leaning yes or no, I feel like it's an incredible opportunity to learn and to listen 
this year and see where it takes us because we need we absolutely need to do it. There's so much for us to learn and change in this country. Mm. Um, before we let you go, though, Jack River, I wanted to ask, because I know you as Holly, because um, yes. that's your real name, Holly. Uh -huh. um, <laughs> how did you come up with the name Jack River? Where did that come from? My friends and I were um, making up pirate names back in the day. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I was 18. I did not realise this would be my career. Uh, wait, wait, can you say the Jack River in a pirate accent, please? Jack River? <laughs> Where's, can we just get Bear Grylls to do that? <laughs> well, Endless Summer, the single is out now. And Endless Summer, the album will be dropping on June 16th. Would you please thank Jack River? Yeah.